The World Health Organization estimates that each year approximately 1 million people take their own life. That's one death every 40 seconds. Experts predicted numbers would peak in 2020, but no one could have imagined the devastation brought on by COVID-19. During the coronavirus pandemic, you may experience anxiety, sadness, and loneliness. Existing mental health conditions, including severe anxiety and major depression, may worsen. If you're feeling hopeless, contemplating self-harm, or you're concerned about someone else, I'm here to tell you there is hope. A Mission for Michael is dedicated to helping clients achieve complete inner and outer transformation. Mission for Michael is the premier resource for intensive mental health treatment in Southern California. With an astonishing two-to-one client-to-staff ratio, each client in their facility receives individual care 24 hours a day, overseen by a team of all doctorate or master's level clinicians. With a focus on evidence-based treatment, along with personalized and compassionate care, they offer mental health treatment that can change lives. If you're suffering from mental illness or you're concerned about a loved one, go to amfmtreatment.com. Again, that's a mission for Michael, AMFM, amfmtreatment.com, or call 866-581-4401. Again, that is 866-581-4401. Our laws as it pertains to substances are draconian and bizarre. The psychopaths start this way. He was an alcoholic because of social media and pornography, PTSD, love addiction, fentanyl and heroin, ridiculous <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a doctor for <laughs> sake. Where the hell you think I learned that? Uh, I'm just saying, you go to treatment before you kill people. I am a clinician. I observe things about these chemicals. Let's just deal with what's real. We used to get these calls on Loveline all the time. Educate adolescents and to prevent and to treat. If you have trouble, you can't stop and you want to help stop it. I can help. I got a lot to say. I got a lot more to say. And I'm joined by someone that has even more to say than me, the great Jason Ellis. Jason, thank you for joining us. Thank you. It's great to be here. And now I feel like I have to stop talking without taking a breath. <laughs> so uh, we have on the restream uh, lots of your fans. They want to hear the story and they want to know. Of my childhood? Well, we can start. We, of my you, skateboard you, career. You're, you're a product of an About of a, my burrito store that I'm opening soon. <laughs> product of a normal, spontaneous, vaginal delivery in 1973. No, but uh, <laughs> other than that, uh, I'm anxious to know, too, what happened. Yeah, I got fired the other day. I, I, and I was happy looking at my Twitter feed when that came up, and I sent it to Catherine, and I was like, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah, I feel like, yeah, um, yeah like, I can't, it's hard for me to eat. It's hard for me to sleep. I'm absolutely terrified. Uh, but yeah, just out of the blue. I mean, I had a big plan on, we're having a big special guest on the show. And we're going to do a one-off at the Sirius XM studio just for us because I got this exclusive guest and he was going to perform a couple of songs. And then uh, they just called me the other day and said, yeah, we're going to let you go. Who, who's they? My boss, and he said... He's the program director? I'm on the phone with HR, somebody from HR, and I was like, whoa, what did I do? Because right. I know used I'm to a that. maniac, but I kind of know the rules. Yeah, yeah. And, and they're like, it's not your fault, nothing you did. That's Just, good. Yeah, so it's very confusing. You know, I'm not... Was it... His guy's name is Jason? Isn't he the program director? Was that no, I don't want to name anybody. Okay. I don't have any... No, no beef. Anybody. I know you got no beef, but do we know what the, the radio is a nefarious business, even satellite radio. What does nefarious mean? Uh, like, like, uh, untrustworthy and capricious. Like, like I'm yeah. not very nefarious at all. You, you maybe used to be, but you were no longer. That's true. You call me You're, superficial. No, not superficial. I might have been. Just difficult, difficult to predict. How about that? Difficult it's to predict. Help me grow, Doctor. Yes, Drew. yes, it's yes. It is. Me be full of wisdom and. Yes. It'll be so much and, stronger. And you remember, I used to have a look daytime. At me now, guys. Yeah. Remember, I, I used to have a daytime radio show and it'll be on a local station here in Los Angeles. Start canting buckets of piss pretty soon. Wedding bucket of buckets of piss? They let that weird airplane dis- inventor guy. What happened? You know, you collect his urine. That's schizophrenia when people do that. Oh, I don't have yeah, that. Yeah. I'm just saying, no. I don't want to snap, man. It's not going to happen. This pressure's fucking getting on me. Yeah, what yeah. if everybody doesn't download my show, dude? Think we're going to talk to them about it. Like we're going to we're going to we're going to make you feel better before this is done. No, 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 dude. No, 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 no. Before before we're done, you're going to feel better. But uh, remember, I had a AM radio talk show for a little while, and I was just called in the office one day, and they go, "That's it, we're done." It happen, happen, it happens all the time in radio. That's the way radio is. It's just it's just like a it's just capricious, capricious. It's just weird, and they make their decisions 
it, 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 their decision making is hard. It's almost like, you know, uh, what are they with the <laughs> with the sticks looking for water? You know, it's like a divining rod yeah. kind of thing. It's very hard to understand. Now I'm guessing that uh, Sirius is having trouble. That's what I'm guessing this is. Yeah, somebody else. They're calling me right now. I don't really care. I don't. It's not like I can get fired. But they're they're offering me a podcast deal. Yeah. And I said, wait, you you fired me, and now you want to hire me? I'm like, I don't understand why it happened then. Or well, why it happened like this? Into, why, why, why they, they think it was one person that made the decision, and maybe some other people feel bad about it, but the decision has been made. So I feel like maybe I'm just annoying to some somebody or okay. some demographic. No, no, no. I hope it's got nothing no. to do with the buy shit, because... No, 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 no. You're you're going in a bad direction. You're you're sinking. Oh this, fuck yeah, I'm going. This in a is bad not direction. good. This is not right. You're, you're but your thinking is off. This is not. I I, I I understand why you're going this direction. It's not real. That's not real. Let, let me let me in a let van me down by the river if this shit doesn't work. Let me have you. <laughs> I want you to talk to one of your fans, Chris. You want to talk to Jason? Go ahead. Hey, is it me? It's you. Awesome. Hey, Jason, man. Hey. Hey, man. I just want to first say I've been listening to you for 13 years, man. It's been a long ride. I was listening back when uh, the what was it the, the Dingle Jingleberries were making remixes with your yeah. daughters uh, singing to Beyonce. Yeah. Look, man, I love you, and, and I can't thank you enough for what you did for us, the fans. And Chris, uh, Chris, you know, stop, stop talking what, about what he did, yes. and let's start looking forward to a, a renewal. This is going to breathe new life into Jason Ellis. He's going to go on a platform that's all his own, where he has control of things. I swear to God, that's what's going to happen. Wouldn't you follow him? Yeah, one hundred percent. In an instant, in I mean, an instant, you have so much to give right. us, the fans, and we're, we're looking forward to tomorrow. And you're right; you're going to have. So many awesome opportunities ahead of you. Even Adam Carolla, he lost his job. He was doing a morning show. I thought it was pretty good with Danny Bonaducci. And all of a sudden, he got, you know, the rug got pulled from underneath That's him. That's exactly right. And he bounced back, and now he's, you know, he's, he's at the top of the podcasting game. Uh, all Jason, you, you need, but, you need, but you, we need all his fans to follow him to his next project, which I, I say you sort out in the next couple of weeks. You yeah, figure that out. I'm having a meeting on, obviously, not this Thursday, next Thursday – to see how the studio, what the studio needs for the podcast, because mm -hmm. I'm already talking to somebody in the podcast world about delivering the Jason L show. And by the, the way, uh, Catherine would kind of tip me off to who, that whole deal. I have worked with him. I've, I've had a relationship with him for 35 years. Good guy. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Now, it may not be the right business deal for you that you got to really pay attention to that. See, that's and the other thing that I can tell that I don't know anything about cuz podcasting talk is Talk to bit these different. two, the, talk to these two behind the screen here. They know these two are now expert. Uh Joanna's a big fan. Go ahead, Joanna, go ahead. Oh my god, Jason. I am a 50-year-old Jewish broad from the suburbs mm -hmm. and you have entertained me for so many years. When I need a laugh, you are there. Mm -hmm. You're free-spirited, you're uplifting, and you're positive. So why aren't you giving yourself the same benefit and privilege of being uplifting for yourself? It's, it, it, go ahead. I can't talk. Yeah, it's not, it's not in his nature. I, <laughs> I know that about Jason. He goes negative hard and fast. And I'll I'm tell you something. I'm not saying it's if over. It's I'm fine. It's, it's look, just it's a kick to the gut when people fire you. It, it's especially when they take away something you love. It's that yeah. and it's this you know I don't even I don't even know radio. I only know Sirius XM. I didn't I don't know anything else. Well I, I will tell you that this the serious model is closer to podcasting Fuck, man. than a, other radio. Every time somebody says something nice to me, I feel like it's all these people that I kind of grew up with, I might have helped them. They might have helped me. Yeah. But it's just, it's just. All you sad. did was help like me. You didn't up. reach out and. Joanna, are you going to follow him to the next project, wherever the hell it is, no uh, matter what? I should have brought sunglasses. Sure. Sure. I've been listening to him for years. I, I only was introduced to him on ridiculousness years ago. Thank you, brother. And then David. I looked into who he was. Another That's one. what I'll do. I'll ask him to. Can I be back on ridiculousness? You, 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 is it, uh, Jason. <laughs> The, I should, it's time right? to call this shit in. Yeah, it yeah, is, yeah. right? Time. Yeah, yeah. This is when you do I it. I need to fire off all the alarms. Yeah, huh? yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I told yeah. I told to Kevin on the way here Thanks, today. Thanks, Joanna. I told him, 
you know, this is it for me. Like, I, it's a fucking war as far as I'm concerned. Like, yeah. to me, they fucking killed my puppy in the middle of the night. I'm yeah. taking everybody out. Yeah, yeah. Everything I've ever got, everything, all the energy I've ever had is going into these shows. So if everybody... Well, well, here's the here's checks them out, here, and I know I'll be okay. It's just will everybody go over there and check it out? I here, feel good about it because it's free. Yeah, it's different than serious. Yeah, and I feel like that's the main complaint that I keep hearing is we just couldn't afford to listen to you. Yeah. And, I'm like, and, well, now you can't say you have to do. You'll have to do ads and stuff because you need to yeah. pay for all this garbage and all this stuff to make it happen. But that people will be okay with that. They'll support you. But but here's the deal. Um, all that energy that you could turn at this, you, you also turn against yourself. Yeah. Right. Same same energy. It just goes. Vroom, it's start. just new. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know what I'm I know what I'm doing with it. I know how I handle it. Yeah. But to me it's um there's shock, there's there's crazy fear, there's you know becoming um being a shithead and becoming successful is a giant fuck you. To who? Everybody. Okay. Um, everybody can get some. Uh, but, you know, parent, dead parents, you name it, anybody. Um, and to drop off, like I'm a parent, you know, I got to pay, take care of my family. Yep. And if I can't do that, then I failed. Yeah. Not that's gonna, not a... Not an option. No. Nah, right. Not at all. So right. that breaks my... Hard to think that I am in that position, even though I know what I'm capable of. It's just entertainment business. Just because you're really capable doesn't mean everyone's going to do it. Everyone's going to follow you. Yeah, but this is kind of a special thing that you you built a community. Nicole, go ahead. Hi, Jason. I'm a wolf knife and a longtime fan, and of course, I'll be one of the ones following you wherever you go. Wherever. I just cool. split up with my husband this summer, and I have four children. And my older boys, I've messaged you, aren't talking to me. So this is very difficult for me to grasp, and I'm filling in the blank. I'm like, they think I'm a terrible mom. They think I'm this. They think I'm that. And I think that you need to just remember the times when people tell you that you're doing a good job and you're being an awesome inspiration. And I know that all your fans are going to follow you. Like, I know, I know you're going to... It's going to just work out like in a few weeks or a few months. It's just going to be like, oh, this was better. Because despite my children <laughs> sort of not talking to me right now, this is better. And they're going to come around and everything's going to fall into place. And it's going to work out the best for you. Are you in Canada? I am in Canada. It's about to work out. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Stop it. it. <laughs> I was digging in the mud earlier, but now I'm here like that. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> but but um, but but it, it is. I know Nicole. One of the reasons I called that out is I want you to uh, bear witness to this, which is his Canadian fans are insane. I'm not. I don't mean crazy, but like they're they're serious fans of you Jason. Can get Ellis. podcasts in Canada, right? Oh yes. my goodness! Yeah, yes. I have your I'm local parents, yeah. like the Ellis one. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I feel like you could be carried just on your Canadian fans easily because I met lots of them in Las Vegas during yeah. one of the, uh, each of the Ellis Manias, and uh, I, that's the first thing that jumps out. He's like, "Man, a lot of cool Canadians fall, are, are very connected to you." So keep it going, Nicole. Keep keep get the word out. All right. Yeah, we love you, Jason. Thank keep you, Nicole. Up. Love you too. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Mitch here. Mitch, go ahead. Hey, Jason. Oi. Another one from Canada. How's it going? Hey, man. How you doing? Oi. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing okay. I was the guy that messaged you a couple of weeks back on Instagram saying there that I was a little nervous to call into the show and whatnot, so I thought now is a better time than any to call in and say, what's up? We love you. Everyone from Canada loves you. Keep your head up, man. See, like, I, I remember you. I, told you, I'll, I'll I told you to call. I said I was approachable, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. You told me to call you anytime, and yeah. then next thing you know, the show shut down. And I, I just feel like I missed that opportunity to call you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I had to call you now, and I wanted to tell you just keep it like, I'll, I'll be straight up and admit it. Like when I found out the show was canceled, I, I cried. Like I spent all day yesterday yeah, crying because like, you got believe it or not, like you're talking into a microphone, but to us, you know what I mean? Like you're, you guys are our friends. You know what yeah. I mean? Co yeah. Friends, family, coworkers. Yeah. Like. 
it leaves a void in in our, in our in, in, kind of in our daily routine without you guys, you know, making jokes, making us laugh, and yep. it, it sucks. But uh, loyal loyal Alice fam, I know they're gonna follow you wherever you go, man. There I you want go. You to keep your head up. There you Thanks, go. Thanks, dude. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, on my restream, there's a lot of speculation about Howard Stern's upcoming uh, contract, and I want to say that doesn't fit for me because Stern's. What con- if he got me fired? Because he's threatened by you, that'd be crazy, right? That'd be a good. That'd be you'd be like, <laughs> would it? Be a badge of honor. I doubt. I here's why I don't think so. Yeah, the, he doesn't know I exist. R- riddle me this. No, yeah. you've been on the show many times. Oh, yeah. I've heard you. That. Oh, yeah, sorry. But but riddle me. Here's but what I, I wasn't anymore. That's true. All of a sudden, I wasn't allowed on anymore, or they weren't even asking. I'm Did like, you talk to Gary about it? I, I asked him. I had a new book, and he was like. Uh, he emailed me back immediately and said another maybe another time. I was like, hmm. he didn't even read it. Hmm. So they they go hot and cold on people, right? We know that, and it doesn't necessarily mean they want you off the station. They just they just they you know he's a symphony director and he's he runs hot and cold in his uh, more than likely orchestra. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And and if he's making a big deal with Sirius, a lot of that is going to be stock, I'm sure, and. That's kind of how those deals work. He's going to get a part of the company. Oh. And if he gets a part of the company, he should want you to be there because you're a major draw to keep people engaged with their with their subscriptions, yeah, right? Yeah. So that the whole Stern theory doesn't fit for me. It just doesn't fit. A lot of people are canceling. At least they're telling me. Be, because of this. I know and I've seen it on my keep stream. Saying, there's the, people keep showing me that the company's saying that not to cancel and that I'll be back soon. I was like, will I? I didn't know that. Who said somebody would tell me? Who said that? Serious, when you try to cancel, people are getting text messages from people that are canceling. That, to tell that's them a, not to. That's about the podcast. I bet. I bet you. Right. How would they already know that I? Well, they want to control your podcast, right? And fire me. Makes sense to me. People do that. You, well, you go to a different part of the company, right? The other part picks you up. One part let you go. The other part picks you up. Yeah, I don't know that you want to do that or not. Let, let's, well, well, you Susan, broke my heart. Susan, grab a, grab a mic. How many times have we seen people go through this stuff, and or we've been through it ourselves, and it works out just fine? Uh, yeah, I mean, this is Jason's you're a first... huge brand, so you can you can do what you want next. You just have to think about it. Don't do it right away. But, of course, they're going to try to snatch you up and make money with your brand again. But you no, just but need to charge double. I, I know that's where your head's at right now. But but in terms of his, his being so down about this. Oh, this, it's this awful. Is, but this is his first experience with this, right? Really? I, mean, I know. You, we've been through this. Amazing like, run. You have we've been through this so show. many freaking times. I can't Man, even tell you. So it's, many times? Like more than one? Dude. Oh, yeah. I, I literally. You, you're, you're smart. You saved money. Well, yeah, uh, we did. We did. Yeah, we, I did. But, right, but I'm done. You're going to be fine. In a, at the end of on Christmas... If there's like, if it just stays like this, I'm like a fisherman or a yoga instructor. I barely know yoga too. Give me <laughs> you're, you're gonna, by then you're going to be back in the back. Uh, in the you know what? You're giant gonna, plans, Drew. Do you have Good. an agent or anything? No, you, I don't have any. You have of that any stuff. management? Okay, so this is going to be all in your you're doing. You're gonna I got a to... lot of people reaching out to me that know a lot of stuff. I mean, Brandon yeah. Sharp. You know, I drove to his house. He's like, come up, and, Brandon. Yeah. Great. Yeah, take your show. I mean, he's a great example for you. Perfect example. But take, so I'm trying to take do... your show somewhere else. So Can, will he put you on his platform? Well, that's another way to do this, to get on somebody else's platform like that. Where you're that's what in, I'm immediately, do. Immediately. Yeah. Immediately. My show on that platform. Yeah, on, sure. With them? With his company, yeah. You're going to have immediate success. Yeah. It, that's going to be immediate. Seriously. That, that's going to be a very... What's this Patreon thing? Everyone keeps do, talking do, about. Do that, don't <laughs> do that as a separate thing. The, yeah, well, locals, you, you would be great on locals. A live show no, for he, Patreon because I've always, I, I'm really sad about not being live. Like, yeah, that's true. Uh, say, you look it up, hey, dude. Be live again, wait, wait, wait. That fucking hurts. Jason, we're live right now. You can be. I live. know. I'm back. You, you can do this. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> we stay on. We have a room leave. in the back. You can just you leave. I'll just keep doing. But they, your these shit. guys can shut my Susan. You know the heart. It's got valves in it. It's very tricky. It's got a lot of stuff. And if you go down here, there's the stomach region. Some people have vaginas. Some penises. Some both. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, it wouldn't be on YouTube, but maybe it would. I don't know. But, oh, but you, can, you guys you can talk do about a stream you. like this too. You can say they want. Okay. You can do. You can do a stream like this also. 
And yeah. I'm certain, I'm certainly Brendan can set that up. I'm positive. You can come over here. I'm going to show every yeah. day if you want. We'll just, you'll yeah. just get Caleb to, we'll have to sell some ads. I've got to stay busy. i got to do work. I need content. Yeah. Yeah, you do. I you get do. it. You do. You have to stay to busy. Invent. Definitely. Hang on. Yourself. Now you're encouraging him. You discourage me. So see, I'm, we're the <laughs> same guy that way. Many. And I have none. <laughs> so, yeah. I have none right so, now. So let me tell you my worst. Do you want to work with Adam Carolla? We could give you that job. <laughs> Wait, would I work with Adam Carolla? Yeah. Man, that's a yin and yang. I thought you, well, you and I were opposite. <laughs> I know. I know. Well, that's, how I, we got, that's how I got used to that. We would thing. fight. I mean, sure. Drew's a master of keeping, you know, his, his fires going in all places just in case this happens. You know, when we knew radio was going to go, we, he picked up a new podcast. Dr. Drew After Dark. And we just, you know, we said, well, that'll probably help in the meantime. But you own all your stuff. Yeah, we own no, everything. Not necessarily. Yeah, we do now. We own I everything. I just agreed. Except for the Dr. Drew podcast, which we don't really give a shit about. No, and After Dark is a co, it's a thing with Well, them. we yeah, own it, though. It. It, we're own, Yeah, but they don't. Most we could it. take all our stuff with us if we wanted right. to. We have, you, yeah, we have control of stuff. All my stuff is gone. Right. So the new Jason will make sure that you can take everything with yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. And you can make, you know, cartoons out of it. I'm I, really not that worried about it. To me, it's not like um, my album. You know what I mean? Like, it's not my... I don't have no Chinese democracy involved in it. Yeah. It's, and, and I don't think that I'm anywhere near done. Like No, you're I'm, not. I'm better than I ever was. You're not yeah. done. Thank so you. So if it's just doing shows i i fucking pity the fool we're gonna be a thousand <laughs> times better than everybody because yeah. everyone else is lazy you got it easy yeah and uh, my life's on the line and, and when my fun. life's on the line i do different shit that nobody else will do it's fun because you can create your own world you can make it easier to get to it you know you could build it in your house you can you know you can create your own content and not have to worry about the boss telling you you shouldn't have done that and is your, but uh, still can't fight animals, though, right? YouTube wouldn't allow that. <laughs> the, the lots of things they won't I'm allow. Serious, I want a lizard to attack me again. I'm like, it's such a good show. I, like Pink reached out. I can yeah. have Pink. I might have somebody play music live that's really gnarly, and then have a giant lizard attack me. And I'm like, <laughs> how? If it actually, back? if it actually attacked your genitalia, then it would be on. Then it would be on. <laughs> then it would be, then it would be. That's Can't. Instagram live. I want, I want, there, there you go. I don't want to be that successful. So so there's your limit. So um, <laughs> uh, where was my brain a sec? I, I wanted to take this in some direction. Oh, did, have you t thought about talking to Rogan? I don't, I mean, we're not. Red band. I don't know. I don't yeah. know Joe yeah. like well, that. But this is the point. I don't think. I don't know if Joe's like doesn't like Sirius XM people and maybe oh, that's right. He's Spotify the band too. is lifted. But I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Him and of course, yeah. I could. So could every person that wants to have a big podcast. Right. You right, know, right, you'd be right. good. Right. You went on the right. Joe Rogan podcast. Right, I'm right, like, right. yeah, fuck, that would be great. Right. Yeah. But right. I don't. Well, think you have to have your show going and some sponsors. And I feel like I've along. annoyed him somehow. I honestly, because I, I, I feel I feel the same way. We know each other. Yeah, I'm yeah. the same exact. He's never been on his show. So I don't. I, I, know, and I don't know why. I like the guy. I love his show. I don't get it. Might be something that he's not into, which is fair. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um. So. Let's take. Let's get another little uh, comment here from Cole. Hey, Cole, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Hey, uh, just trying to say that uh, I've kind of felt like I've grown up with Jason a little bit, just because I'm about the same age, and uh, I started listening to him back when he was just a kind of a DJ in faction. Uh, I was doing construction out in Arizona, and since you know, since then I've I had kids around the same time and. Got a whole new career. I'm a registered nurse now. Oh wow, so good for you, man. I'll, I'll follow you. Thanks, dude. I yeah. appreciate it. We're Thank gonna you, need you. Yeah. Yeah. And bring bring a couple. I moved all the way across the country and and listened to you the whole the whole drive. <laughs> That's great. I okay. I can I can see where that would be a cool thing that you would feel like you have company with you with uh, Jason and Tully in the car. Uh, Dylan. Let me hang on a second. Hello. Hi, Dylan. Hello. Hi, buddy. Hey. Uh, how are you guys doing? We're good. We're good. Uh, I just want to say uh, I've been listening for like 10 years. I'm only like 24, so I was listening when I was 14 in my brother's car. Whoa. Uh, you weren't supposed to do I've that. I've just been following Jason the whole time. Yeah. Oh, I was listening when Jetta was there, when uh, yeah. everybody was there. I've just been following the whole time. 
uh, just developed me as a person. I've been just such a better person. I'm, I'm going to follow you oh. to the podcast, Patreon, whatever the fuck. Thanks, man. I yeah. fucking... God, I hope this is real. I hope that everyone else thinks the same way he does. Ah! I'm telling you. That's why I'm, that's why I'm uh. doing this, because I knew this would be here. I knew it. Jennifer. In fact, I didn't expect as many women. That's kind of interesting to me. Oh, yeah? yeah interesting, yeah. Jennifer, go Hi. ahead. Hey. Hi. Hi, Alice. Hey. How you doing? Okay. First off, I want to say I'm good. How are you? Good, well, thanks. I know you can be better, but you're going to get through this. Um, my husband has been listening to you for 12 to 13 years, and he introduced you to me, and you are just hilarious. Everyone on your crew is amazing. I really admire you as a person, and you're going to get through this. We'll do Patreon. We will follow you till the end. We will be with you through the hardest moments, and we want to support you in every way possible. My husband called Sirius and canceled wow. it right away yesterday, and we're just really big fans. I'm canceling, too. Oh, Susan's canceling right now. <laughs> She's picking up her phone and canceling. <laughs> Oh, fuck. And J- Jennifer oh, no, he canceled. He canceled yesterday. Jennifer's out here in Riverside. She's in Southern California. So we're, we're talking to people all over the, the continent, which is amazing. Thanks, Jennifer. You made yeah, Jason. Good luck, Alice. We love you. I love you, too. That's right. That's right. This is going to be good. Uh, this is uh, Brent wants to tell you he's, he's already canceled. Go ahead, Brent. Uh, Dr. Drew, I appreciate you uh, for letting me on. Uh, Jason, man, I have been listening to your show. Actually, I've been following you even longer than the show uh, back during the X Games days and uh, Bam and Haggard and all that stuff. But uh, I'm a huge, huge fan of yours. I've actually turned you on to a bunch of my buddies. I called Sirius Radio and uh, canceled almost immediately. <laughs> Uh, this is just Susan, get Jason some it's mind-blowing that they would do this, man. Um, but I wanted you to know, uh, you and I actually kind of have a little similar uh, situation. My brother uh, committed suicide last month, oh my and God. listening to your show uh, helped me through it because, you know, it's a hard thing to deal with, and you and Tully and Kevin powered me through it, and uh, every day, man, I'm, I'm thankful for you. And uh, I wish you and your family a really good Thanksgiving, man. I'm following you wherever you go, dude. I love you a lot, bud. Thanks, dude. That is what I'm talking about. Sorry Thank you, Brad. You lost me. That's what I'm uh, talking about. So let me tell you my tale of woe. I'm going to give you a break. I'm going to give you a little break. Oh. So I was um, back in the Loveline MTV days. Somebody plucked me to go do a daytime talk show. And we did a huge pilot. And I mean, just. Big studio, big audience, the whole deal. And we were taking it around the country. We'd already cleared 90% of the country. And I had sales meetings scheduled. It was with like TriStar or some company that was out at MGM back at the day, back in the day. So we're talking 25 years ago, 20 years ago. And um, and I, I was actually having trouble figuring out how I was going to do it because I was practicing medicine full time at the time. And I was like, well, how's this going to work? But all right, I'm going to try. And uh, they wanted to take me out on the road to um, go sell this thing, to visit all the stations where, where this thing was going to appear because it was already sold, right? Yeah. And um, production was probably a, a month away. We were going to go and, like, it was really starting to ramp up. I'm driving down the Pasadena Freeway going through the tunnels, and my manager calls me and goes, yeah, the daytime show? I go, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, got, I'm getting my plane tickets for Detroit next week. He's like, yeah, they're going with Queen, Queen Latifah. They're going with Queen Latifah. And I was like, what, what do you mean they're going with Queen Latifah? Yeah, it's Queen Latifah's show. And I was like, what? It was your How? show. I was like, what? What does that even mean? How does that work? I, because that, that's the way it works. That's it. Yeah, like, like that. And that and it was like, what? And so that was where um, I learned about these things. And by the way, I was, a no, I was a dilettante novice back then. I wasn't really paying attention. I didn't know anything. I was just busy practicing medicine. And th- this was so astonishing to me that somebody could treat another person like that. I couldn't believe it. I've come to understand it's very, I, well, I've experienced it 10 more times since. And now I just go, eh, that's that thing. This guy. I can't believe how much tougher you are than me. No, no. <laughs> I'm just having more experience. I was feeling just like, the point is I felt just like you. I know exactly what this feels like. It's confusing. Yeah. It's astonishing. And you, 
a piece of you is being like ripped out, and it's your yeah. your 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 life ahead. My fucking identity. Yeah, your identity, your life ahead as you understood it was all like record scratch. Yeah. Now you got options. You got options. I could be a wrestler. You could. <laughs> but by the way, I want to talk to you a little bit about what you were doing out on that barge. I saw. Uh, I saw oh, you. <laughs> well, Hell's Mania on the floating island. Yes. <laughs> I know, right? Such a good idea. What's going on? Was that recent? Yeah, that was uh, three weeks ago. It scared me a little bit. I didn't know if I was seeing something recent or something that was taped. I had a big motocross knee brace on because I just recently had the Cadavan MCL knee replacement. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I had a big knee brace on. It was only some. The only fight I was in was the blindfolded cowbell fight. I saw it, and you had some cool bathing suits on prior. Yeah, and prior. I wore American speedo because <laughs> love America and a speedo. <laughs> Everybody does. And uh, I, I actually got kind of scared. I mean, the referee looked like really jarred when people were falling off. He didn't know quite what to do. He wasn't planning on that part. The thing that's one of the things is uh, I was backing up because it was when you fight four people blindfolded, it's hard not to get tired Yeah. because it's hard to breathe because you're blind and you think, man, I hope somebody doesn't punch me in the face right now. So it's hard to breathe relaxing. And then it comes. And, and then somebody does hit you in the and face. And surprisingly, yeah. you don't want to fall off the island. Right. You kind of, because all of a sudden I'm like, wait, I can't hit ropes. Yeah. I can either hit a person or the water. And my competitive brain doesn't want to lose. Yeah. So I don't want to fall in the water. So yeah. I was really trying to bash people. So I was very tired. And then in the final round, I lifted my blind up. <laughs> and it was the really big guy. And I was like, oh, man. <laughs> I gotta punch this guy for two minutes. Like, maybe oh, I'll just no. we'll, we'll fight until we get off the side of the island. But I, I actually remember when I was backing up, I was throwing punches. They were landing, and I was like, "Man, I can't believe his face is right where my hand is." Just, just and then as I, I could tell that it was, I must be so close to the end of the island that instead of falling like that, I just stepped because if I had a fallen, you'd be I'd in the hit water. My back of my head on the other one. Yeah, yeah. But I still. I, you know, nobody did that, and I think uh, at one point, my re the ref is a good friend of mine. He's my boxing coach. Is so he, he thought I might have hit my head. Oh. That's why he had his hands up like that. Oh. And he thought the big guy might land on me and, oh. like, kick me down. He, he looked he looked, <laughs> he looked like I felt when he, I sat in your corner. During he was that terrified big, for me. He yeah. was terrified for you, but he, but he was also trying to pull people out of the water well, and referee the fight. The other thing... Try falling into the freezing cold lake oh. blindfolded with boxing gloves I, on. I, I, that's the part that got you him. You can't I, swim. But probably. I don't think anybody sort of planned for that. Where, no, we didn't plan for it, it until right before we fell in. Yeah, yeah. And I go, I go, right. So we probably won't be able to see where we are when we come out of the water. <laughs> right. So that means whoever falls in, <laughs> the riff has to get over there immediately and yeah. start saying, hey, Swim this way. Yeah. And all four of us said, got it, got it. And then we <laughs> put our blindfolds on. Let's fight. That's right. <laughs> let's fight. All um, those people are just fans. You know that, right? Like, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, were, that's all I, I know that's that often you do the that. Show, that's and great. we got in a van all together and drove up there and did that. That's fantastic. That was a, um, that was a good one. Yeah, I think that yeah. has potential for when the pandemic's over to yeah. do a really big one for uh, Lake Havasu in summertime. That's a plan. Great idea. It's a great if idea. I still have so, so, so what's interesting show. is water adds a whole new element of chance. And I just thought I did comedy boxing, and that is another event that does comedy boxing. Mm. And I'm like, I don't really mind people copying, but I don't. I just want to do different stuff. I don't want to be the same as everybody else. Yeah. So. I want to picture Dr. Drew and Havasu. Has a nice rhyme to it. All right. Well, we'll go do that. We'll go out there. Dr. But Drew an does to be have sung, a suit. Sure. An anthem to be sung out there, I'm sure. But, but, um, <laughs> but uh, you know, we brought our son one year to, to, I think the first time I sang the anthem. Yeah. And he was like, this is what? How's this? Why? He wasn't, he didn't really be familiar with you. And about an hour in, he goes, this is so entertaining. <laughs> this is very entertaining. I understand why you like this. And, <laughs> and he, he became a fan immediately, which is why I was saying, you might have an Ellis event to launch your podcast kind of thing to bring bring people into the tent, you know? Yeah. yeah awesome. everything can, He's going to get one next week. Oh, yeah. yeah We're going to get you a podcast next week. Josh, go ahead. Hey, Jason. I'm 26. Um, like I was 24 earlier. just want to let you know I've listening for a long time. Um, nobody my age has serious, so it's kind of tough for me to share the show or anything, so I'm kind of looking forward to 
wherever you end up next. That's a anyway. really good point. So I can actually share the show with my friends and the, 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 that that age group more, you know? is looking at that podcasts. Is, thanks, thanks. That's that, a, that's an important point. That is, man. Yeah, never. Th- I keep forgetting that. You know, at one point I was just there for so long that. I just didn't pay attention to everybody else anymore because it would bug me. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, wait, you guys are all making like edited videos and and it's like this beep, 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 real fast entertainment. I'm like, I see how that's catchy, but my company just doesn't want to do that. They've never wanted to do that. And I thought, yeah, but they pay me a shit ton of money. <laughs> yeah. So, and I don't, I mean, after having a taste of a little bit of fame, I know that, uh, believe it or not, some people might not believe me, but. I don't really care for it that much. I I like being successful, but uh, hey, man, you, you know what I mean? Uh, look at you. I know I've got a fucking wolf on my head. It's hard to believe, but I'm like, oh man, I'd rather you didn't. You know, <laughs> I kind of like like doing my work and trying to accomplish new things. I don't really need to toot my horn as much. So uh, Anthony is uh, someone. Uh, that we support and who's a regular uh, visitor here. And uh, Anthony wrote a book called from park bench to park Avenue. He's now, he was a homeless dude trafficking drugs. And now he's a RN who runs a psychiatric hospital. Like uh, full, what's an RN nurse registered nurse. Oh, okay. Uh, and Anthony, you've never listened to, to Jason, but you're, you're digging him. Yeah. I, I, I never, this person ever seen the dude or heard him. Cause I never listened to serious either. So, Hmm. Yeah. So he he has a Jason has a show. What uh, cat? This guy uh, seems like he doesn't hate me. No, he wants to come follow you. He wants to wants to know more. And so Jason, if you think about Jason, I don't know, I, the the simplest way I can describe Jason's show is it, it's similar to Howard Stern in that it's talk, and there's a family like a group, you know, and yeah. there are characters that come in and out, uh, and it's a little world uh, that Jason runs. And uh, he's at the center of it in his life and thoughts, and which is also very interesting. You know? Thank you, Drew. Uh, and uh, and, and uh, Anthony, he struggles with some of the stuff you've dealt with, you know, as well. Drugs and, and alcohol. Okay. Yeah. I actually oh, yeah. was drinking again in a, in a way where I didn't think it was hurting me, <laughs> which is funny to <laughs> say, even though I know I'm an addict, but... <laughs> I actually I have a heart condition where my heart can go into AFib. I had an ablation performed and I triggered it a couple months back, From which drinking. means I had to be shocked back in. Yeah. And then I went and saw the doctor and got all these tests again. And he's like, look, your heart is fine as long as you don't drink. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I don't even, He's uh, that's it. I'm done with that. I mean, it kind of saved me accidentally because I didn't realize until I just, because I thought I don't need to come in with any heart condition for the rest of my life. I, alcohol was pretty cool, but it was never that cool. So I just bumped it. And then I've noticed over the last sort of four months, I think I'm very fortunate that, because I've got lazy and I think yeah, I just you look was good. sitting on that money. You, you really look good. I got healthier. Yeah, I got I more motivation. And I think I'm probably in a better mindset to handle being cold out of the blue and fired mm. the other day because mm-hmm. I, I feel like I hate saying that there's like this feeling that something big is going to happen because it's like what are you you're not Nostradamus you don't know shit well, but good. I just stay feel with like that feeling why not there's something bigger th- yeah. that's happening good. you know because I'm not about like I said before I just want something big in a positive thing to happen then I had something to do with it I don't really care about the rest yeah, well- of it you know, it's a trip. Something big is going to happen, but if we don't let go of what we have, we don't have room for the bigger thing. They want you over. They want you to slide towards me oh. a little bit Ow. with the mic, just the mic over. Yeah, and Anthony, maybe I just wonder if you have any, uh, you know, recovery words of wisdom. Oh yeah, don't quit before the miracle happens. Ooh, nice. <laughs> well. I can tell you that that this is the the other thing that I hate, Drew, is I really wanted to join AA again because I liked my friends there, Mm -hmm. but I still smoke marijuana, and I know that that's not cool, so I can't go there, even though... But I just know, I want to... I got fired the other day, and it's one of the worst things that's ever happened to me. But, you know, like three months ago when I hit my heart went into AFib and I had to go to Cedars, that was was a thousand times worse. (laughs) Right, that was the worst thing. I could could tell that bothered you. 
Uh, well, let me tell Fire you, me. Bob Forrest, you know, my buddy with the glasses and the hat, right? What was Bob Forrest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So Bob Forrest, uh, when he was in doing the work of getting sober, um, went to meetings, uh, res resisted, was obnoxious, sat in the back drinking beer in the he meeting. Did that? He did it. And, and, w and what happened as the meeting was letting out, they all looked at him and said, Bob, keep coming back, man. He was so blown exactly. away by that mm -hmm. that he stopped drinking and so you're tried saying it. Just go to meetings super high and smoke blunts until, uh, and they go, keep coming back, Jason. I, I, I'll be like, I'm not sure Wait I'm a saying it. I'm just, I'm just throwing open the possibility that <laughs> they, they will still accept you at meetings. But, Anthony, what do you think? What do you say? Well, you can't smoke it. You can't smoke in no meetings today at all. No, so I know. All, but but he can show but, up uh, struggling. I use Visine before I go in there, so you can you can't tell. Well, well it's it's not the meetings. It's the individual that wants to do the thing. Like you said, I mean, I'm going to get semi serious because if you're having issues with your heart because of that, I'd, I'd let that go. But as far as being fired, dude, worse things in life. I mean, if you really look back at life, there's probably something worse than this has happened. Well, you know, and it's, yeah. and it's because of that I get to meet you and I get to chat it up with you, and that's groovy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I miss the community. Thanks, I like, buddy. I like to struggle. Yeah, thanks for calling in. So, how about I? I know exactly what you think about when Anthony says that. What? When Anthony says that? Yeah. The worst things have happened to you? Oh yeah. Yeah, I know exactly what you think about. He's right. He's right. Yeah, so you're going to start making me cry again. But okay. I'm fired. Isn't that weird <laughs> that I, I actually am in more shock of being fired than being sexually assaulted by my father? Uh, like that, you got that used to that. That's crazy you got, to me you right got now. used to that one. <laughs> Is that crazy to say that I'd rather, like, let my dad do stuff to me again if well, I didn't get fired. But you know what's interesting is that that shows how much you sort of... going to make it on anything because I've gone too far. No, no, this is live. This goes out everywhere, man. Shit, sorry. Yeah, this is going out everywhere. <laughs> okay. So, so oh, the... Um, the oh. To me, that says you've managed the trauma. You've made it You've made it part of your life experience. And it's like... Oh, it's man, does that mean I have to do MDMA therapy over my firing? No, uh, that means it's you, too much. No, no, and you just got to get. I'm your just going to get over it. You got to get your shit together. I'm just going to get yeah, over there. Yeah, yeah. Right. We got to take a little break. Uh, let's do take that break, and we'll be right back with more Jason Ellis and your calls. As we're gradually moving back to opening schools and businesses, and of course our in-person interactions, I want to remind you: this is all time with cold and flu season getting going. Staying hydrated is key to helping your body deal with the added stress and with the upcoming flu season. My regular fans have heard me talk about a product called Hydrolyte for a long time now. It's an amazing rapid rehydration drink. It's a mix that, well, we're obsessed with here. I'm excited to announce they've just released Hydrolyte Plus Immunity, just in time for cold and flu season. Hydrolyte Plus Immunity starts with their fast-absorbing electrolytes and adds a host of immune-boosting ingredients. Each single-serve, easy-pour drink mix contains 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C and 300 milligrams of elderberry extract, creates what is hopefully immune-boosting formula that's high in antioxidants and zinc. Combining this with Hydrolyte's seven key electrolytes, it's a fantastic way to stay proactive and properly hydrated. Hydrolyte Plus Immunity comes in convenient, easy-to-pour powder sticks that rapidly dissolve in water and make a great-tasting drink that has 75% less sugar than your typical sports drink. It uses all natural flavors, and it is gluten-free, dairy-free, caffeine-free, non-GMO, and it is vegan, and you can find Hydrolyte Plus by visiting hydrolyte.com slash Dr. Drew. Again, that's H-Y-D-R-A-L-Y-T-E dot com slash D-R-D-R-W. And be sure to use our code Dr. Drew 25 at checkout for a special discount. According to SAMHSA's National Survey on Drug Use and Health, approximately 20.3 million people above the age 12 suffer from substance use disorder. Incredible. The disease of addiction takes an average of 130 Americans every day. Sadly, the opioid crisis, which many consider the worst pandemic of our time, has been even further perpetuated by the spread of COVID-19. Since the start of the coronavirus outbreak, drug overdoses have increased by 18%. Factors like economic stress and social isolation have led to increased depression and unnecessary deaths. A Better Life Recovery is a premier addiction treatment center in Southern California, offering one of the most highly regarded and comprehensive addiction treatment programs in the United States. Dedicated to helping its clients achieve complete inner and outer transformation, they offer a 45 to 90 day program custom tailored to meet the needs of each individual client. Long term is the way to go. 
Many of A Better Life's clients elect to stay up to nine months to receive additional support. A Better Life Recovery will do whatever it takes for as long as it takes to ensure the success of every client. Are you ready for a better life? Go to abetterliferecovery.com or call 866-581-4401 now. All right, we're back with great Jason Ellison. Uh, Susan Pinsky wanted me to point out that Jason was booked to be on this show because he's a friend and we're a fan uh, well before the firing kicked in, and the firing has taken over our thoughts today, and so that's why we're sort of going into it deep. I'm um, full of content today, Drew. I'm, <laughs> I do want to do qu two quick uh, reviews. We have some interesting uh, data that came out just as we went on the air here. One is that uh, there was a hydroxychloroquine trial for the prevention of COVID-19. It was a very good randomized control trial for the use of hydroxychloroquine as a prophylactic agent, and it did not do, it did not do anything. It's kind of what I've been saying. So I don't know what is happening with Dr. Zelenko, that he doesn't get COVID, but he claims it's his hydroxychloroquine. It pretty clearly is not that, because this data, this is a good study. This is one, I can point at this, there been very few good studies with hydroxychloroquine. This is one. And the other thing is uh, another study, this is all New England Journal of Medicine that just popped out just as we were going on the air. Uh, they did a randomized controlled trial on convalescent plasma, so the plasma of recovered patients from COVID-19. For people with severe pneumonia, people with advanced disease, does not seem to do very much, which I had heard from people in the ICUs, uh, so it's not doing that much. Doesn't mean it might not do something in the earlier stages. Again, they, you know, the particular stage of the illness that we do an intervention with these, uh, uh, these therapeutics make a difference. And Andrew Kasvili, who's on my thread, says CDC director uh, says says that vaccinations will begin the second week of December. Uh, Andrew, that's what I'm hearing too, and I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get the uh, Pfizer vaccine. Uh, it's looking good, uh, and uh, it's the question is. Each state may distribute it differently by different means. I'm hearing my hospital will be distributing One it. One of so your we'll fans see. said that their sister, who was a nurse, got a got the vaccination last week really? on Twitter or something. Yeah. How could that be? Yeah, how'd they do that? I don't know. That's interesting. So that, to my knowledge, it's not been approved yet, and it's not been distributed yet. So she maybe is in a phase three trial or, something, or another localized trial. I want to go back to talking to Jason's fans. Uh, this is Tamara. Tamara? Oh, oh, no, wait, hold on, Tamara, I didn't, I didn't get you up. Hold on here. This is a weird system, and I sometimes have to hit it just the right way. Tamara, there you are. Hi, Jason. Hi, uh, hi Dr. Drew. Hi, hi Mom. Alice. Hi, Mommy. Uh, another, another female, another Canadian, but <laughs> I just wanted to let you guys know, I listen, I'm a wolf knife, I've gone to yeah. Ellis Manias, I have been listening for years and years, and I'm also part of the Ellis Fam group on Facebook, which has thousands of fans and people and friends, and we will follow you. That's all we've been talking about for the past two days. We will follow you wherever. I love you guys. And a lot of us don't listen live, so... Oh, we'll thank you. That's all they've been talking about. Oh, so, man. <laughs> so. Let's go back to the well again. <laughs> okay, Tamara, thanks for the call. Appreciate Ruthless. it. Yeah, thank you. I just... I just uh, to me, that's such an interesting uh, How they manner, to manner have that of speech. One word like that. Yeah, out, I know, yeah. I know why belt. Why is there a belt when it's just a belt? I know. Well, and, and like I'm it, from another country, but I know that it's not a belt. Right, it's and it's a, although you guys put a, you'll put an R at the end of an a, where no, there's an A. No, I don't. And you'll and you'll take an E R and turn that into an A. So it's water, and it's uh, yeah, water. Yeah, water, yeah. not water, water in our world. Yeah, okay, I don't and, know about that and, one, but and, I will go with. People in Australia say uh, Tuesday or tuna. Oh, wow. That's and I'm interesting. Like, you don't know how dumb you are when you say <laughs> that's that. That's a new right? one for me. Yeah. All right. This is uh, Jeff. Jeff's very upset. Jeff, go ahead. Hey, um, Jason, Dr. Drew, thanks for taking my call. You bet. Hey, Jeff. Um, I, just, I, wanted to, I just wanted to tell Jason I have been listening to his show for probably 12 years. 
uh, religiously every day. Mm-hmm. I drive a truck. I drive mm-hmm. a garbage truck every day, and I listen to the show in the morning uh, from the night before every day. And then when that's done, maybe I'll listen to Howard, maybe not. Um, I usually, ever since he got the new, sh- uh, his own channel, I would probably just put that on and listen to that for the rest of the day. And it sucked. Not, it, his, that channel's gone. His show's gone. I had nothing to listen to today. Uh, and it sucks. Um, you know, I, I, they did, they didn't play any tape. They didn't play any tape stuff or anything. It just was more of the music and that's it. There was nothing. His, if you searched jason ellis on wow. xm it, there's nothing there that's there's nothing so, comes up. that's so that's radio man that's the way radio works you just you just cease to but, exist in, but, in the terrestrial radio they change the locks every time they kick somebody off the air that's that's terrestrial radio but uh silver lining kind of ironic because they took everything that jason ellis off the air but on right now because the show comes on at five o'clock every day so right now it says on the thing it said cavino but it was jason ellis's show is on right now so i don't know why like tape but, thing? um i don't even care what anyway. they do anymore i i more power to them all the best to everybody on the channel yeah. i'm really sorry that you can't hear me but in two weeks from now you're gonna hear me and so is way more people and we're gonna fuck some shit over people are gonna be getting it big time Just i love it to i love it i love it i love it cody hey i just um you know, it's, it's good to see Dr. Drew uh, for a little bit, and that, you know, kind of can be where Jason's path goes. But I just wanted to say that I came in when you first started, and I heard you mention a little thing about maybe the buy thing as part of the reason some of this happened. But I don't want you to ever feel that you coming out was a bad thing at all, because for me personally, and I know thousands of others, it changed my life. Like, it made me realize that someone like you, who was just unapologetically who you are and that just made me realize that i can be that way i can be a badass who you know hangs out with hot chicks and everything else and still have the the sexual orientation that i have and nothing be wrong with me and it's normal and it's okay and you were a huge part in making me realize that the way i feel is okay and that's been a huge part in my recent years of I just got married. I just bought a house. I'm kind of at a good high, and you being the inspiration for me to do that just means the world to me. So wherever you go, no matter where it's at, no matter how we have to get it, we're going to follow you. And we follow you because you're Jason Ellis, and that, that we love you. So that's where – that's who we want is we want Jason Ellis. And whatever you've done or anything, don't have any regrets because you've changed – my life personally and a lot of lives and i just can't say how much i thank you for that and i appreciate how much you've done for me personally thanks dude uh for the record i would gladly be fired for that reason like if i can help you feel better about your sexuality right, you take it you would take i'll take it i'll take yeah. the firing for that yeah it's more important to me Hard- i can't believe i'm in that position like i'm assuming that dude's for real oh yeah that's yeah. I don't. I didn't go to school. That's huh? like the greatest achievement in my life. Besides my kids, what he just said is the greatest thing I've ever done in my life. Mm. There's just no way I'm going to cure cancer. I just don't. I can't be bothered. Sorry. I know it sounds dark, but I know it's going to take me way too long. You probably have better luck. I, I think uh, th- you're right that this is massively important and impactful. But just making people feel like they don't have to be ashamed of mm-hmm. who they have sex with. Mm-hmm. Hey, let me ask you a sex question. Yeah. If I do an OnlyFans, is yep. that gonna, are people going to not, like, does that affect my podcast? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, my wife has started one because. You could be you know, on we're, hers. We're financially terrified. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. She's super hot, but they, the guys asked her if you did a group one, it would make more money. And I'm like, I don't mind doing that. Yeah. But does the world. Frown upon I, my penis? Uh, any if uh, peanut gallery? What do you guys think, Susan? It depends. Then, oh, it's Caleb, Caleb knows. Caleb knows. Go, Caleb. Well, with, I with, can't hear you. Oh, 
with OnlyFans, it's they've they're trying to tr- kind of change the image of it, so you can do a lot more stuff on there. It's almost like it's it's kind of its own Patreon environment in a way now. Yeah, but yeah. Does, is is it going to but affect it, his brand badly? Is it be more older? Yeah. Maybe. Mm. It depends. It, it. That's a good. I don't know. I'd have to look at your whole brand. Yeah, yeah. I'd have to see more. He, 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 in yeah. other words. I mean, Jason's always been open about everything, but I feel I don't like think it would hurt. I really don't. I don't think it would hurt, especially now where OnlyFans is. Like OnlyFans is is changing the image now. So I don't know. I, think, I just I, feel like I would think it's Patreon not going to be, be better for hard now. fucking. Like I'm not going <laughs> to be in hard fucking. I'll put my. Bo- I've already got an OnlyFans that I haven't told anybody about that I put stuff on because I am an. I want to do it. I'm an exhibitionist, okay. <laughs> but if I have no money. And I need to pay my rent. Right. Wow. And my wife is super hot. And people are like, yeah, man, like, throw your boner around a little bit. And then my wife can have sex with, like, other girls and stuff on there. That's, how's that? I mean, we agreed to it. It's not behind anyone's back. No one's getting hurt. And if she made real money, like, money to get me out of this or to hold me off until... This podcast. Well, I think her, she Zach doing it. Be popular. I think she doing it's no problem yeah. for you. But if I'm in it, but you may not be able to get another contract. Like, yeah, it might. You never know. You just, it's hard. Yeah, but it's serious. hard to know. It, <laughs> you, you don't want to limit your options. I'd right, say that's, right that's, up front. But yeah. but if you have if you have to do that, you get to that point, then you can think about it. And it's don't and make any rash here, decisions, Susan. We're here. I mean, your wife can do whatever she wants. I can start one too. Mm-hmm. Should I get one? Too? I would totally sign up. Would that be inappropriate? <laughs> if that's what she wants to do, it yeah, would be a totally yeah. appropriate. So, <laughs> my goodness. I've lost my sound. Is I that... just kicked it off. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this, this whole uh, OnlyFans thing with Susan got him kind of uh, <laughs> rattled. And that's a very difficult thing to do, Susan. I've never seen Jason Ellis rattle. So, uh,. I'm looking at your guys' uh, ch- chats here in the meantime. Oh, yeah, they're they're telling us, Susan, we got to get Caitlin Lowry in here. Yeah. Right, Susan? Yeah. Who's that? Caitlin from uh, Teen Mom. She, she wants to come in. Um, can Jason come to Locals? Yeah, that's that's another place you could go is Locals, Jason. Oh, there it is. Which is a place that people go to build a community with you. It's called Locals.com. Uh, well, you look at that. You should look at that. That's yeah. a, it's a that's a not only fans thing. It's it's a li- literally just where your fans go and okay. build a community. So um, you can look at that. Okay, here's uh, the World FDA meeting is scheduled for December 10th. This is an emergency situation. Why do you wait so long? Uh, World Rewind. I'm hearing there's a pre-approval committee that is setting the standards for the approval committee so that the approval committee can go through very quickly. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know if that's true or not. It would be. Uh, it would be unconscionable if they were just delaying it just to delay it. Uh, okay, let's go back to the phone calls here. We, 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 there's a lot of COVID questions that kind of bleed cool. here, so that's where we're getting at. Uh, here we go. Uh, this is Colin. Colin Robinson, is that you? <laughs> Colin? Hello? Oh, that's definitely... Oh. definitely. <laughs> It's Brooke Daly. I'm uh, his wife. He called in for me because I was too nervous to dial. <laughs> well, here you are. <laughs> I've been I've been listening to Jason for over ten years now, ever since Paint Stock, <laughs> huh. and I've been a huge fan. He's helped me through a lot. I'm gonna cry. I'm oh. extra emotional to have a baby, so I'm sorry. Oh. Um, but I just always wanted to tell you how much you've helped me and helped my me rebuild my relationship with my mom. And um, I love you, and I'll be there to support you no matter what you do. Thank and you. And I'm sorry that this happened. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Bless you, Drew. Thank you. Bless you. Thanks, Brooke. Sorry about my sneezing. I don't want to take any more phone calls. Uh, n- a couple more. Just a couple more. Let's see what we got. Uh, oh, that's Colin. I'm sorry. I just put Brooke back up. Again. Talk about the virus, please. <laughs> All right. You want to bro- break? I-, I can talk about the virus. Uh, let me, because the, um, uh, Joe, you are being silly. I did, I see you being silly there. Um, Tom Cigar says, this guy has an intense fan base. Indeed he does. The, the, the Ellis Mania, go, go to an Ellis Mania one of these days. Do yourself a favor, at least rent, can you still rent them online and stuff? The, I think they're free on YouTube. You ought to take a look Try at Ellis in. Mania and you'll get a sense of 
Jason and the world he creates and the entertainment value. There's some video of it on my Instagram right now at Wolfmate. There's like some videos of some highlights if anybody wants to check it. Now, the floating one anyway. Mary Lay says, and I know what this means, so I'm going to ask you. Uh, ask about his hometown, Melbourne's dictator, San. Melbourne's. Melbourne's dictator, San? S-A-N. Dictator, S-A-N. Melbourne's dictator, S-A-N. I mean. Is there is there some local government maybe that's cracking down on them and they're feeling that they have a dictator? Because I, I, know, know. I, I, know, know. I know Australia's been particularly intense with the lockdowns and stuff, right? Yeah, but I, mean, I don't know any, anything about that. I talked yeah. to my brother every now and then. He said that they seem to be a little bit free these days to do a little bit more. It's lightening up. But See, if he's saying sand, does he mean Sandringham? Because that's I don't know where I was. My parents are from. I, I can tell you that um, the one thing, one criticism I have about these aggressive lockdowns is as soon as you lighten up, the virus comes in. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't so prevent just, the virus. You have to have a vaccine. You have to have a vaccine. The idea was to prevent the healthcare system from being overwhelmed. That was always the plan because no one ever imagined you could eliminate the virus by lockdown. I don't understand why it's just if you're sick or older, you just then you have then to you got to be careful. Everybody else oh, kind of has to she, help. She's out back. It's dictator it. dictator Dan. She clarified, Mar or Mark did. Dictator Dan. I don't know who dictator yeah. Dan is. He I hit my head a lot in Australia. It was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. I got so many lives that I've lived since then. Ultimate reject. Tell me, Dan, who? Uh, let's see. Okay, I got it. What's that? It says something about uh, the dictator Dan in Australia yeah. has enforced drastic lockdown. Right, that's what I figured. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. The, dic the Victorian premier has returned fire after the world's biggest newspapers after a headline labeled him a dictator. Well, that's what they're doing. Okay. Yeah, Dan so that Andrews. means there's a Dan, prime minister Dan, Dan who's Andrews. a piece of shit and he's, and he's making everybody... Yeah, look, I think the curfew... Sounds like Ga is, Gavin Newsom. ...is too yeah, much. I hear thing. that there's one hour that you're allowed to go out or something yeah. and you're not allowed to five, million, five miles away from your house. It's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Yeah. You're kind of asking for war. You yeah. know, it's like, yeah. I'll do your thing, I'll do what you want, but if you start telling me that I have to live like I'm in prison... And, and then I'm you're going to behave I'm like not you're seeing people fucking walking down the street, holding onto the neck, dropping to the floor, dying. Right. I do start to question your authority. Right. Exactly. You're going to behave like a prison uh, candidate. Right. You start to riot. Yeah. Because you can't. We can't be fucking uh, prisoned. Yeah. That's the whole point of inventing it. Because it's you know you're in trouble when you're in there. Uh, a lot of people are asking to bring Elspania back to Vegas because that's the more accessible one for everybody. Yeah, that'll probably be an option if obviously podcasting thing all works out and we can do an Ellis Mania. The Hard Rock is obviously not there anymore. And oh, my God. Yeah, it's a virgin, isn't it? But just the yeah, building's but there. The people that run the Hard Rock. I'm not supposed to, sure I'm supposed to say uh, this. Oh, okay. But but you, but you but you I'm get... friends with the people that run the Virgin Hotel. Uh. Mm -hmm. And there's still a potential of Ellis Mania being back when Virgin is officially up and running. Great. And obviously the pandemic that really, really stopped that. So people are asking me yes. what's going to happen tonight on Fox 11. Let me give you our rundown. We're going to talk to uh, restaurant closing, restaurants. We're going to talk to somebody in the emergency room. We're going to talk to uh, somebody about the number at LAX, about the number of uh, people coming into Watch LA via planes. Uh, we're going to talk about Thanksgiving, obviously. Uh, ba -ba -ba. We're going to talk about, boy, there's a lot of copy here. Uh, Megan Markle sharing her story of miscarriage. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, sh and Megan Markle. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> this is the news, Jason. Uh, See, if you get a news job, this is the stuff you get to talk yeah, about. Yeah, and tweets from our viewers. So we're going to talk to the viewers a little bit, much well, like here. So I, don't, I don't suggest it. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit lighter tonight, uh, sort of a pre Thanksgiving kind of thing, it looks like to me. So uh, let's go back to our phones. Are you fly? You're not working on Dude, I've, I've been flying a bunch. You have? I'm flying on Monday. I'm flying again. Yeah, oh. we've been to New York. We went to Cabo. Went, went to Mexico. To oh, that's right. I saw you guys yeah. in Cabo. It looked yeah. awesome. It yeah, was awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. great. It was, we went into uh, Cabo San Lucas and went right past Cabo Wabo and went on a boat. And my, we, my, lived. My, we, my, lived. we lived. We lived in, but we were sort of in a COVID bubble. We had a, a resort that somebody rented. Private and four family, four couples were there. But, but I, see, 
Masks work, right? They either work or they don't work. Mm-hmm. They work. Mm-hmm. Distancing works. I know how to mitigate and, res- you know, to, I take my zinc and my vitamin D and all these things that help. And, and then you navigate. Th- then you navigate. And, you, and uh, I have my, I have my, uh, my UVC lights. Wands. My I, I use want. a, I use an <laughs> I want. It's UVC light. I, this sterilizes surfaces. I, I'm a big Shut fan of UVC. Up. Yeah, you want one? I'm going to get you Wait, one. Wait, if you point it at it, it sterilizes it? Ten seconds, yeah, it sterilizes it. Oh, shit. Yeah. It, it's great for your iPhone, your computer. Stuff. We're not supposed to talk about I, it. I know. I'll be able to talk about it more soon. That's but, the sickest thing ever. But it, but it's for planes, it's the best thing Dude, ever. Yeah, that's yeah. going to be the fe- Everyone's yeah. going to want that. Yeah, I know. And so uh, I'm a big fan of that. Man, I want to make a wolf knife one. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, Maybe they can be your sponsor one. Yes, yes. Yes, can't wait. <laughs> so uh, I, I can, I'll try to hook you up. Uh, <laughs> uh, but what was I saying? Oh, and so I believe you can safely do these things. You know, with their, the airports were a little wonky, and we kept our distance from people that had their masks under, under their nose and uh. were congregating. We, you know, you can, you can do this kind of safely. And to be so draconian about it where you, you can't leave this room right. doesn't make well, sense. Well, we shouldn't, technically, we shouldn't even be together in this room right now. I, I, I understand, but it, we've been tested a million times. No, I know. Uh, and bullshit. so, the, the, you know, there's just, there, there are ways to navigate. Three days ago. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, and now if you fly to New York, you have to get tested between three, up to three days before, and then you have to get tested four days after so that you can leave your house after right. seven days. Nicole. So, they have all these rules. Yes. Yeah, hey, Nicole, what's going on? Hi. Hey. Hi, big fan, Jason. Um, I was you. calling because I was wondering um, on your next adventure, is Michael and Tolly going to be involved yeah. in any way? Yeah, that we're trying yeah? to do awesome. the Jason Ellis show. It's going to be Kevin and Tully, Dingo, Catherwood, and Jamie Foxx. And because it's only two shows a week, there's a good chance they probably be all there. And uh, yeah, it'll all be in one room. So all you're, you're, you're the current plan with the guy you were talking to is two shows a week, and the, and then another one for Patreon. I, good, that's, that's good. The, that's I think plan. I think three t- three a week is a good is a good. Yeah, and number. then obviously if everybody downloads it, because I the the plan really would be to go back to giving people what I believe is you do five days a week, so I do five days a week. Right, that's where I come from. And if people so you listen to a new show every day, whether you're going to work or whatever it is when you listen to it, I got new ones mm-hmm. for you. Um, but that would completely depend on sponsors and how many people. You right. know, I, right. I hear that if it's a hundred thousand downloads, that I might be in the clear on this, and things might look. Yes, you got you got to get in that zone. And right, I think so you could. I think you could do that Jason easily. Ellis have the power to easily with all the people he knows easily. to bring everybody there to do this. No doubt in my mind. <clears throat> but we will see. And, you know, Tully is a very smart, creative dude. Yep. And that's I, why I, we've had a talk about it. And we both agree that now that we're, you know, our backs against the wall and, and it would be crazy not to try the Jason Ellis show yeah. 100%. But, but, I, but I bet he'll have some ideas that will be good and out of, outside the box. You know, I bet, just listen. I've to got them. some good ones already. I, I have no doubt. I don't, I'm terrified. I'm, all I think about is shows, ideas, how to change the game. That's all I think about all day. I don't sleep. I don't eat. I'm fucking weird. I don't eat. I'm losing weight, but I'm kind of, what is it? Uh, what Tully calls me? Narcissistic. <laughs> Tully calls so, you that. Yeah, he always, because he helps. He doesn't call me that. I always forget the word. Yeah. And then I go, what am I again? And he <laughs> says narcissistic. And I go, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> but if I do lose weight, because I've been training a lot and obviously not drinking. Yeah. So really the only highlight of my life is candy when it comes to ah i like nice. you know like some cakes or mm. i like sodas mm. now i've noticed that i like sugar it, like fully sugar black sugar. cherry <laughs> love black Let's cherry let that sodas, go. man them shits are so uh, good mike what's up hey guys oh man this is crazy um big fan of both of yours obviously calling for jason more at the moment sure. um uh, it's uh, it was wild, dude. I, I can't believe it happened. I was in my garage last night, seeing all the stuff come through. I actually started crying, which I haven't done in quite a while. I don't even know why, but maybe that's for a whole yeah. other reason. But just wanted to uh, say, man, I'll follow you no matter what. And uh, how's the other guys doing? You know, how's Tully? And, uh, uh, good question. I think Tully's. I mean, I uh, talked to him. Going? He seems really relaxed. Actually, I don't know if it's because his wife has a job as well, but 
I don't, maybe he has plans for other stuff and he thinks he's... I don't know. He seems to less stressed. I think Kevin is always worried, but I also think... I mean, it's a weird thing when you think you might end up broke in after being in something for so long, but I also feel like we have this feeling that... Um, you, you haven't squashed us. Like, I think we, but all three of us kind of combined think that if we were presented in a different way at Sirius XM, we'd be a lot bigger than we are. And I think that you have your suspicions, you you got to be worried about it, you got to be paranoid, but it, it's, we, I think that it'll be bigger than it's ever been. But it also could totally not be. So I think, I know Kevin and I are a little bit more similar because I think Kevin and I have, less plans we're left less pl like if we don't get a job in the next two months we're both fucked like proper fucked yeah but you've already got a plan exactly so yeah. i think you um, got to pull it off but you i think we both yeah. you know yeah, i mean i definitely big. i talked to kevin before i came here i i told him to the to us to me this is this is war like people are trying to take everything away from you all yeah. these things like all the things i think about i've answered I don't even know. Hundreds of thousands of messages to everybody. Anybody ever asked me for anything, I try to help them as much as I can. I, like, unless it's like, what's wrong with my kidneys? I tell him, call him. <laughs> but if it's something that I can, anything, I, I'll answer anybody. And I always do because I owe it to you because you guys made me. Yeah. So no, you really all that your effort is... that they didn't yeah. do. You know what I mean? Yeah. None of them talk to any of you guys. They don't know about any of the people and what we've been through together. And they underestimated what's going to happen. I agree. I absolutely agree with you. Uh, totally agree. You're going to kill it, Jason. Good, thanks. good luck, man. We're, 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 thanks for fucking having my back, dude. And we should, thanks, Mike. You guys are awesome. We should really be telling people where to watch to figure out where it's going to be. The, to go to your website or... You know no. what I mean? We're, I mean, you need. We need to watch you, so I'm we just know. Gonna when... Keep everybody posted because I'm told don't don't disappear on social media. Keep telling everybody that you're gonna do this. So, like so, I said, so... Thursday, not this Thursday, next Thursday, this company looks at my studio, tells me what we can do, and by that th by Friday, the boys are already ready. We're ready. And, and so, what's your social media handles? Give, give all those at, out. At Wolfmate on Instagram or uh, Ellis Mate on Twitter. Uh, on my YouTube channel is Jason Ellis, I believe, but that has all those little boxing fights and stuff on there. It had some of the last live radio shows, but it was just one camera on a laptop. It's not that impressive. So that uh, this whole thing, I was told not to be on this whole thing. Like I got in trouble. You had to fight in your contract to be on YouTube. So I just gave up. Oh, I see. So this is like... So you can build that out now too. I haven't done anything yeah. to the way that any of the podcast world has done. Yeah, you got You got to expand your digital plat, your footprint. You know what I'm saying? It's time to get. Yeah. yeah. It's time to exist. Which I'm. I mean, I'm two things, man. I'm terrified, which I've. I'm sure will help in the long run. Um, this stuff is good for me. Like, uh, you know, I did yoga with my wife last night, mm -hmm. and at one point, I didn't want to do yoga because I felt so depressed yeah, yeah and then when i did this stretch with her and i was holding on to her i met i felt like you know as cheesy as as hell but i i we've got each other you know yeah and if they take everything away from yeah, me yeah. and i and i do live in a fucking van down by the river she's not gonna leave me that's true so i have that and i have my kids so i have to do worst case scenario that's just how i roll because i have to visualize worst case scenario so that I don't have any regrets on the amount of effort that I put in to get where I need to go. So you, I need to visualize that if you don't put in all the effort that you've ever wanted to put in on anything, you could be in that worst case scenario. And even with that occurring, I still know that I'd sit there with my little joint watching some fucking... Netflix with my wife. <laughs> Not against the law. No that will happen. Me. That will happen. So do you know Kay Smythe? I don't know if you know Kay Smythe. She's been on our show a couple of times. Uh -uh. She does a lot of, you know, she does a lot of... Provocative stuff on the internet. Right. But she also is, she's one of our guests. Yeah. And she said, uh, 
don't do OnlyFans, it'll fuck your career in the long term, like it did with Simon Rex. And he said, she said, but your wife would make a killing through sponsors too. So fans and back end sponsors and then private image sales could easy easily be four to five figures a pop. So so yes, she should the, the Katie should do it. Yeah. Okay. What, that's she's I a great it, can she's you ask a, her if I promote Katie's OnlyFans, is that okay? Okay, well, uh, uh, she's working with It'd her. It'd be the same she, as if she Susan said, did. I'm like, dealing with my, like... She said, I'm dealing with my cunty clients, or I would have called in. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was any president. She, she's Welsh. So, <laughs> oh, that's um, what it is, yes. So, yeah, uh, we'll ask her. Ray, what's up? Alice, it's been a long time, buddy. I've been listening to you for like 14 years. We had a bit of a past there. I don't know if you remember, I used to send uh, from Canada a bunch of RDS stuff down to the states and i you kind of got mad at me a couple times i think i'm not sure but what's rds i don't care what, what what's, happened. what's rds J uh, red dragons oh 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 yeah i was yeah, a yeah, prick red back dragon. in the day <laughs> i would get angry at people what's for that? no fucking Tell reason i apologize that? dude i don't even remember it but i totally believe it yeah yeah <laughs> it's no big deal uh, it, it's i don't care we none of us care where you go we are all going to follow Jason, it doesn't matter. I heard Brooke talk, and I know Brooke, like, I follow her on Facebook, and it's true. Like, it doesn't matter where you go, all of us are coming with you. Your platform's bigger than you think. Yeah, And I you're agree. not, I watched your I watched your video today on Instagram, and you, you've, you've got no reason to be upset or afraid or anything, Jason. We're going to follow you no matter where you go, Jace, doesn't matter. He, he has plenty of reason to be upset, but he should feel confident that things are going to work out. I agree with you. He should be very, very, very confident. Yeah. Jason, we're not going to, we're not, none of us are leaving. Yeah. Your platform's humongous. You've got, you've, you have so many followers and so many fans. It, yeah. And, you know, I met you in Vancouver and it just happened out of nowhere. I was like, Jason's in Vancouver. I'm here. I got to <laughs> go see him. Yeah. And you, you, you actually grabbed me, put your arm around me and said, Katie. Let's get a photo with this guy. I was like, cool. This is really freaking cool. Like, you're all about your fans. Oh, yeah. That's uh -huh. why we're not leaving you, Dave. I'm glad I wasn't a total prick all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Now, this is a heavier call. Bitch, you covered I'm, that. I'm Thanks, not, dude. I feel like I have to put this call up because it's been sitting here, and I, 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 we got to deal with this. Helena. Hi. Hey there. Hi. Hello. Hi. What's going on? Um... I, I, I just want to say that, uh, Jason, I'm sorry. I, I haven't really listened to you before, but you sound really lovely, and I'm very sorry you got fired. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, and I plan on listening to you now. Good. Uh -huh. and follow Thank up. you. You're adorable. Thank you. Uh, uh, no, I just... I'm having a very difficult time right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I've struggled with mental illness for a very long time, um, but... In the last year or so, it's progressed to the point where I've had suicidal ideation for the first time. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, is, is in the last year, like I'm, I'm doing all the things that you're supposed to do and things are just getting worse. And now I don't really know what to do. Like I, so I, let's talk about, so, so, so suicidal thinking is, is a symptom, right? It's not a real thing. It's a symptom, but it has a very dangerous potential obviously associated with it. And it's uh, a sign yeah. that your depression usually, although you can be manic and suicidal too, but your depression is getting more severe. Is that, are you on medication? Have you been treated properly? Have you been sort of? I've been taking uh, mirtazapine for about 12 years. Well, maybe it's time to make a switch or add something to it. Those, that's sort of what Remeron is well, that's, that's where that's where I'm at, and I do have an appointment with a psychiatrist, Good. but uh, my doctor is not the greatest, and he's not taking this very seriously, so he set me up for a, a one-time consult. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I know you're in Canada, just, and, and as the, the, the wonders of the Canadian healthcare system when you, when you actually need it. She can't see another doctor? No. And so he, here, here's what needs to happen. You, you need to take matters into your own hand a little bit and start – I, I really believe that brains heal other brains. And if there's any sort of mutual aid you can get yourself involved with, support groups, a, a, anything else like that, it's so easy when you're an addict because there's 12 steps all over the place. But anything like that where you can reach out to other people on Zoom, these things are meeting all the time now, just look for emotional, mutual aid societies, emotional support, 
and and then start I'm I'm guess I'm feeling like something's going on in your life too like you need to kind of get something going right well I mean that's that's the thing is that like objectively my my life is really great <laughs> I have a, a good job that's very understanding of my mental health so I can pretty much I have a certain amount of stuff I need to get done and I can kind of do it whenever I'm up for doing it mm which is amazing. I feel financially stable. My apartment is the cleanest and organized. What's the, what's, been. what's the emptiness that I'm picking up on? Where's the emptiness coming from? I, I, I really don't know. I have a fulfilling relationship. Okay. I, I have. All right. Well, friends. that's all, that's all I, good news. I mean, I, I, I think there's something I'm sensing, but uh, I may be wrong. A and then it's I mean, about adjusting is shit. the what? My family is shit, but yeah, but like they have for you know a long time. So right. I'm kind of used to it. Yeah. Well, well, you're not really. You can't say you're used to it when you say they're kind of shit. It means that they've been torturing you your whole life. Right. And you're not used. Well, yeah, I, used I wouldn't say I'm used to it. I made the mistake of speaking to my mother on the phone, and she decided to remind me that this is hard for my partner, and he might leave me. I might lose my job, and no one would take care of me. That, oh. that, that, right th this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is what this is what I'm feeling is that you don't have anybody in your corner. Right. Uh, that you really that I mean that's just there in your corner, and you need to work on that. You need Being to find depressed that. and having a uh, somebody that's always around talking to you about more depressing I mean, I, shit like, doesn't help. Does not. Help. I do have my partner, and, and he's been amazing. No, I, mean, I understand. Listen, but that's talking that, to him. Yeah, that's different. Your romantic partner is one thing, and that's great. And your employees, or your your coworkers, are that's great. You need somebody who is just listening to you and supporting you. That's yep. what therapy is. But if you don't have that, again, it's mutual aid or it's a friend, somebody who really cares about you. Helen, I got to wrap it up, but it may just be adjusting the medicine too. Sometimes, as they say, a cigar is just a good smoke. I and stopped seeing my therapist. Really? I thought you had a really good, really intense thing going there. No? I really, it's just like a thing that a habit. I just made sure I went once yeah. a week no yeah. matter what. But yeah. since the pandemic will happen, uh, I just don't like Zoom. Yeah, I'm with you. Go back when it's when it heats back up again. Yeah, yeah. and I should be fine, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, the, your 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 trauma was pretty intense, and you've done. I mean, when I think back to some of the shit I used to hear you talking about on the Stern show that would freak me out and I'd worry about you. What? Oh, I don't want to. Yeah, it just, enough. you would go dark, very, very dark. And, and, and I don't, I, that's not around anymore. That party is just not around. I mean, it, that's what I'm saying. It's yeah. so, I've made it. I just moved to the beach. Yeah. I've never been happier in my life. Yeah. <laughs> well, stay with those thoughts. Stay with Fuck, that. Dude. We're going to bring Jason. Uh, I, we're going to support Jason any way we can. And um, my friend, it's good to have you here. I, I'm glad, I'm glad this here, was dude. scheduled. I'm sorry. Know. I'm sorry this happened to you. You didn't deserve it. But I, I feel it's so easy for those of us who know you. I want you to understand this. And who are fans also, because I feel like I'm a fan and a friend, that we look at me and go, oh, my God, he's going to be fine. It, it, we we just you just it, know that that's how other people see you. I know it's hard to you're you're the one responsible for. It. I know how difficult that is, but but we all look at this and we go, this is gonna work out. This is gonna be all right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, anything else, uh, Mrs. Pinsky, Susan? Anything else? You you okay? She looks stricken. <laughs> Well, we're just going to have to help get your YouTube channel is a good channel. Oh, Susan, gonna we're going to have to make sure this it. plays out. We're going to make sure we get. We're going to make sure you have success. We're going to make it big. <laughs> And you can promote your wife's uh, uh, fans, only. fans only. Only fans. Yes, yes. And uh, Kay also said she would like to interview both of her, you on her show, too. So. Okay, cool. All right, so we'll, we'll, it's time for you to call in favors once you get the structure up and stuff. She's and only we'll got four, <coughs> 400 fans, but it's okay. <laughs> we'll all come around. We'll all support you. you got to start doing the rounds. Now you go be on other people's podcasts to promote your podcast. Of course. And then they come I've on your podcast. I've had lots of Bert Crush who reached out to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Sam yeah. Tripley. And, he'll bring you, know, you the ratings. No Brendan Sharp. All these people are so nice to me. we got to get you up on the cabin when he does the cabin again for Netflix. We got to get you up. So, in does Tully do all your booking and stuff? Is no. He what the? Okay, whoever. <laughs> okay, so get a good booker. Somebody can book these people because it's a pain in the ass. Jason does well, a lot I of himself. Book for myself. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, they're all on your phone, right? You have yeah. them all on your. Okay, cool. 
Sort of like you're in my phone. Like I said, hey, you want to be on the show? Yeah, Thank he's going to be on. Yeah, okay. Guess I how I'm going to get him? I didn't have to go through some, this bad boy right some here. PR person. And you're going to call you. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I just realized, shit. I do get it quicker if I get it hurt. Yeah, so right. It's it happens true. then. It's true. All right, listen, we appreciate the calls. We appreciate the support for Jason. Uh, this was yeah, a non-COVID related uh, show. However, I'm hearing tomorrow, Susie, we announce what you're doing tomorrow on Thanksgiving Day. I'm right. cooking a goose. <laughs> you told me we were going to get... Oh, I don't know. It was just an idea because I saw somebody say, oh, do you, are you sad think... about Thanksgiving? If you're not having Thanksgiving with anyone, I'll do a little stream. So That was Brad Williams. I was copying him. Okay. So, um, but if, I don't know, if we can break away for like an hour. So around noontime or something tomorrow, we might even put a little Twitter thing together. Maybe like like a Twitter o'clock. group? Like a, a, a Zoom yeah, group? Yeah, you Zoom can group? Zoom in and we can... Talk about how fun it is to be alone on Thanksgiving. Or whatever. <laughs> We're just, uh, just talking. Just hey, chick, chat. I'm going to be alone. My wife and I are going to be alone in a house that we might not be able to afford in a month <laughs> okay, You now. can zoom like, in, too. <laughs> we are fucking high-level sad. Oh, you we'll guys. Oh. We're so fine. I'm just fucking with you. You'll be okay. Yeah. And, and, um, so sometime tomorrow we'll drop in and just support people that uh, need a place to go. Yeah. We'll hang out on Thanksgiving Day a little bit. And um, and maybe do a little Zoom thing that we do we like doing once in a while. And we appreciate all you on the. I uh, see you all on the chat. We again, like I said, this is not a information oriented show today, but we do different things on different. So days. I get information. Turtle shits it stick out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so Google Jason, it. just to reiterate, if anybody out there is a Jason <laughs> fan doesn't understand, we have this thing called locals.com. It's you go to drdrew.locals.com. And I put the Zoom meeting up there because it's a, it's a subscription base. It's like seven bucks a month or whatever. Yeah. A lot cheaper than Sirius Radio. And um, <laughs> So when I Get put that up, today. they can all just be in the show on the live feed show and talk and chat and. Okay, so and it's it, Dr. Drew. Mike dot, was on yesterday. Yeah, Dr. Drew. Locals. dot com, and we'll put together a big little Zoom chat. There's so many ways that you can connect with your audience. You know, yeah. okay, it's fun. I'll do it all. But your any of your fans who want to do it, just go to Dr. Drew. Dot locals .com. Okay, speaking of connect so, audience, yeah. I've got to go run do this Fox 11 thing right now. I told you he had to go. Yeah, so we got to wrap it up. We thank you guys. Lots of love for Jason on the stream here. And uh, just to keep your eyes open and follow him on all the social media platforms. Say him again, Jason. At Wolfmate on Instagram, at Ellismate on Twitter. And, uh, and a new show coming. Well, that'll be announced on those social media platforms. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.